welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick with the City of Hampton. And today we are gonna offer you a wonderful volunteer opportunity at the Hampton History Museum. My guests are um, the new coordinator for volunteers, Jasmine Downs. Welcome and Thank welcome you. to Hampton. Thank you. And Uber volunteer, Ruth Ann Kellum, <laughs> is gonna tell us what it's like to volunteer as a docent. So let's start by talking about, you know, what the program is, why we need volunteers. The volunteer program at the Hampton History Museum is core to how the Hampton History Museum operates. We depend very much on our volunteers and for school tours, operating the gift shop, getting things done on the administrative side of the museum and especially our special events. A lot of people may not know that the Hampton History Museum is very much involved in events like Blackbeard Festival or any type of oyster fest or anything dealing with education outside of the museum, such as outreach. So we depend on all of our volunteers. We have very much regulars like Ruth Ann here, who takes a lot of her time out of her very busy schedule to come out and help us out. So we really appreciate our volunteers of all ages to help us out with any type of activity. Wonderful. How long have you been volunteering? I don't even want to ask. You don't have to know. <laughs> <laughs> Volunteering specifically the with the museum. museum. Yeah. Well, a program was started in 2010, um, of course, the 400th anniversary year oh, right. for the city. Super and busy. at that time, it was the goal of the city. It was funded to take all fifth graders and seniors yes. through the museum. So in the fall, the fifth graders from all of the schools in Hampton come and then in the springtime, the seniors come. So that was my beginning with training and learning the museum and the galleries and those kinds of things. So just intermittent on and off during that time. Well, and that's good too, because you can be on and off. This is not, we need you every, you know, Friday for eight hours. Mm -hmm. This is, it works with your schedule, right? That's very so true. maybe just special events, or maybe I'm not ready to be a docent yet, but I can help with paperwork or mailings or whatever. That is very true. And especially with our special events, like the Hampton Horror Tours that just passed, <laughs> that was a great success. And we would always love our volunteers to help out either in the lobby, making sure everyone's where they're supposed to be, getting their tickets or on the tour itself helping guide people through. So we always have a need for our volunteers, but it's something you create around your own schedule. So, well, let's talk about, you know, the cool thing I think is to be able to lead tours, but that obviously takes a good bit of training and, and knowledge and experience. So volunteers get something. That is this, very right? true. Within the tours itself, you have to have docent training, which our education specialist, Chris Peters, leads about twice a year. And you have to be someone who is comfortable being in an environment with children and leading people as well. And also other benefits of being a museum docent or volunteer is that you get the free admission to the museum. You get to have many special perks of being around the museum. So it's a great benefit, even for someone who may not sure if they have an interest in history just yet, maybe try it out. See if you want to help out in the gift shop, if you have retail experience, you have an administrative experience. So there's something for everyone. And even on the education spectrum, we have interns that come in who are interested in working in the collections. So if you are history passionate, this is a great place for you as well. I think that people don't know, you know, how big the collection is. It's not all on display. I mean, I am sure no. <laughs> there is work cataloging and archiving and researching, um, helping with uh, the traveling, you know, the, the next exhibits or just learning and, and helping to flesh out the research. There is, that is very true. I believe I could have this number wrong, but our registrar, Beth Austin, said we have over 500,000 pieces that still haven't been cataloged yet in wow. our collections because the collection is just so massive. And a collections volunteer is different from the other volunteer positions where it does take a commitment mm -hmm. because it takes a lot of time. Right. So you we can't have, just pop in. No, you can't just pop in. There's just a certain amount of time that has to be dedicated to it as opposed to special events where if you feel more comfortable talking to crowds, comfortable advertising or promoting for different events for the museum. Like I said, there's different ways you can help out that fits your personality. Well, and you could probably even figure out like when you need to be around kids. So if you're really good with kids, you can help with those second Saturday, you know, the crafts, the hands-on stuff, because I know you need people, yes. you know, for <laughs> those. Or maybe if it's a little more casual in the gift shop or working with adults <laughs> when they come through. 
That's very true. So how do we sign up, Jasmine? You could either go on to the HamptonHistoryMuseum.org website. There is a tab for volunteer. And you can do the online volunteer application. And you can specify which type of interest in the museum you'd like to volunteer in. And then you get an email from me. Mm -hmm. And we'll get establish a relationship of how you want to participate in the museum. Or you could also come by as well. Now, is this only for adults? I mean, I know a lot of... Um, High school kids look for uh, internships, look for mentorships, look for volunteer opportunities because it looks good when you're applying to colleges and they might have an interest in either working with people or history or things like that. That's very true. No, it's not just for adults. We encourage teenagers. We have Girl Scout troops that participate with us, Boy Scout troops. So we would encourage anyone who has an interest in history or a passion for this type of field. But if you're under the age of 18, you're going to have an adult accompany with you, say, for a special event. But we have something for almost everyone. Okay. Ruth Ann, why do you do it? Like, it's a lot of time. It's, you're retired. You've got so many different things you're involved with. What is it you get from the History Museum experience that maybe is unique? I, because you're connecting with people, and I, of course, I'm a people person. The other thing I think is because you learn. For everybody who walks in that door, you know, they have something to offer. And so it's, you know, you're taking as much as you're giving, so I'll use it in that aspect. Some of the other things that go on from the volunteer aspect is if there are persons from conventions and tourism who have come to the area to do writing or to explore the area, to take back to their community what's to offer in Hampton, we've done tours like that. Um, the music programs that are once a month, I mean, those are great. So. The Hampton History Museum is not just a go in the gallery, static history. I mean, it's vibrant, it's lively, it is an, a place that things are going on all the time. So it's just fun to be there. Yes, <laughs> yes. I mean, really. And it's always different. It's always different. It's I think so, too. And even if you've been through it once, mm -hmm. the, the exhibits still change, but there's also no way you can read everything in, right. one, in one trip time. For yeah. through. And I would think docent training would be pretty amazing. I mean, I've been through on a tour um, by Mike Cobb, the former historian and curator, and, and it, I learned 10 times as much <laughs> as I did just walking through myself. So learning to lead those, I think, would be fun to learn more about Hampton and to be able to tell those stories. Not that I could ever do it the way Mike did, but <laughs> it, is, um, it is a lot of fun to go a little, little bit more in depth. And it shows that history is not something that are just words on the page, which unfortunately is the misinterpretation that I received when I was in school, that these were events, these were people. And the fact that it's the Hampton History Museum, some people do not know the history of their own city. And that's right. not really a fault to them, it's how it was told to them. Mm -hmm. That's why a museum is a great setting to bring that to life, to see an actual visual, to see a display, to see an exhibit, just as our Civil War exhibit really puts you into what it would have been like being in Hampton when Hampton was burned during the Civil War. Yeah. So it gives people a visual and an appreciation of their own past, because Hampton is made up of various different backgrounds that affected this area even till today. So it gives you a sense of pride in a way and respect, and you feel very part of it. It's not, like I said, words on a page. This were living, breathing people, living, breathing history. Wonderful. Okay, thank you both very much. Thank You're you. <laughs> And I hope you will consider volunteering. Um, maybe on your way to thinking about it, you could just go visit the History Museum, come to one of the special events, learn a little bit more about what goes on there, and I think you'll be hooked. Thanks for watching.